Welcome to the Sizzy Chronicles, where I, Sizzy, chronicle my life as an RV newbie. Now today, we're gonna be doing a product review. I was sent a battery, a lithium iron phosphate battery. It is such a mouthful. As you can see, it has not been opened. So the first thing we're gonna take care of is the unboxing. Now, before we get into the unboxing, let's talk about the company, Lead Time. Now, Lead Time has been around since 2009, but they started off with a different name, Amper Time. Now they've changed the name, changed the logo, but it's still the same great products. They're known for their batteries. And Lead Time was kind enough to send me one of their 12 volt, 100 amp hour self heating batteries. If you love winter, if you love cold weather, this is the perfect battery for you. Now the humans may love the cold temperature, but that doesn't mean that the battery does. Low temperatures can affect the life of a battery. But with the Lead Time self heating battery, that's no longer an issue. Once the internal temperature of the battery reaches below 41 degrees, the self-heating pads will activate and continue to heat the battery until internal temperature has risen. The smart self-heating will protect the battery against low temperature charging, but that's just one of many protections built into the battery. The battery comes with a five-year warranty and is expected to survive up to 4,000 battery life cycles. This battery is suitable for RVs, vans, trolling motors, off-grid living, camping, or as a backup power source for your home. Now that's a little bit about lead time and the battery that was sent to me. Now let's see what's in the box. package let's see what we got we got the product manual so this little package here has more information about other products that are available lead time makes batteries ranging from 12 to 48 volts they have chargers inverters solar charge controllers and much more let's see what else we got okay quick startup guide so due to shipping related regulations, this battery carries about 30 to 50% capacity when shipped. Good to know. So of course we will have to charge it before actually using it. These are gonna be the bolts. Thanks for pointing that out, because they're little. Make sure I don't lose that. This will be safe. You know I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in this bag. This bag won't be lost as easily as those bolts. Let's see, let's get this first layer out. Okay, that's in there though. That's in there. All right. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that's nice and thick. Okay. They're not playing around with the shipping, that's always a plus. And then I can see at the very bottom, we got a, another layer of cushioning underneath. Now we're gonna try to get this battery out. All right, so this has like a strap. Some batteries, I know they usually have the foldable handles. This has a strap. Let's see if we can get this out. Ugh, ugh. Not too thin. Well, I mean, it's, 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 I'm not gonna say it's light, okay? I'm not gonna say it's light. But as you can see, I was able to get it out. So I did actually get another product. Now they sent me this, this I purchased. This I purchased because I was I was kind of intrigued. But of course with these batteries, you can charge it with a generator, you can charge it with solar power, and then you can also just buy an actual charger. So I bought one of their chargers. So we're gonna open that as well. So you get two unboxings today. Looks like good packaging. All right, so like box within the box. Oh, hold on. So this box came in the box, the company that shipped it, and then there's a box inside the box. So it's a lot of boxes here. So hopefully you all recycle. I went to their website to see what charger was recommended based off the battery size. This is a 20 amp battery. I've never actually seen what these look like, so I'm excited. This part is going to be connected to the battery. Then this here, I can just plug into any one of my outlets in order to charge it. And let's see if it measures how long it may take before 
to reach a full charge. Now to actually find out how long it takes to charge this battery, I was able to find that information in the product manual. So they do have multiple charging methods, as I mentioned, such as solar panels and the controller. With solar panels, depending on if the sun is really sunning, you can expect about four and a half hours to fully charge this battery. You can also use an alternator or a generator. But today we're going to be using one of the lead time battery chargers. And I have the 20 amp charger and if this was at 0%, it would take about 5 hours to fully charge it. Got my insulating gloves. Go ahead and look at these bolts. It came with the battery. Okay. Got our instructions for the charger. Seems pretty simple. Oh, oh, okay, no need to paint. Thank you. Let's check the next steps of the process. Got to connect the Anderson connector. Positive, negative, negative. So let's flip that around. Feed that in. Alright, Anderson is connected. Power supply for the charger. indicator light and a breakdown for what each color is going to represent. If it's fully green, it's fully charged. We have standby if it's blanking, if it's red, it's charging, and if it's red and blanking, it's faulty or it's probably under some type of protection. So it's either overheating so it won't charge or it's too cold so it won't charge. Let's go ahead and plug it up and see what we get. And then kicked in. We got a solid red line that's charging. Perfect. 
If you're interested in any of the products discussed in this video, please check the link in the description and definitely consider lead time is your one-stop solution to solar energy.